Hey guys, this is Danish here, and in this video, I'll be giving you guys uh, tips and tricks on grooming your uh, fish, flower horn fish in particular. So basically, I've been in this hobby for what around five to six years now, and uh, I'll be I've done many uh, things to my fishes. I've tried to do so many uh, experiments with them. What to say? So uh, in this video, I will uh, just. I'll narrow it down and I'll tell you what has worked best for me and I'll try sharing you guys and explain it in detail what is to be done and what uh, how do you take care of your fish and how do you groom them before we even uh, begin into the grooming part so let me just tell you to buy a fish which has good potential a good quality fish because if you don't buy a fish with good quality and it has poor genetics in it how much ever you groom it uh, it's not going to get a huge head or intense coloration the pearls are not going to be shiny enough there's obviously uh there're going to be problems with the fish not health wise i mean the grooming part health wise is going to be fine the health depends on the way you take care of your water quality and the fish's feed and all so buy a good quality fish good quality fishes are expensive so try getting a good quality fish and then follow these tips i'm pretty sure your fish is going to look absolutely stunning So first let's start with the basic uh, tips that is basically every fish keeper should know all of these things so first of all it's the water parameters so a fish a flower on fish generally likes a water temperature between for 27 to 20 uh, 27 to 32 i generally keep my uh, water temperature at 29 or 30 is generally what i keep my temperature at but if a fish is sick and if i have to do medications i push it to to a 32 and then i medicate him and after it's fine i put it back to 29 or 30 degree celsius and perform regular water changes uh preferably weekly once around 30 to 40% if you you have if you have a huge tank and you have a single fish in the tank uh what around 20 to 30% per week would do so the next is water uh, filtration so basically flower horns like less movement in the water so the water should basically be still as uh, still as it can be so if you use internal filters or filters which have a power head on it so this that's going to cause a lot of movement in the water so use sponge filters uh sponge filters hold less uh, beneficial bacteria in them it is true but If you keep a single fish, that fish is going to create less uh, waste, so it is going to just work out fine. So even if you are planning to keep two fishes, which I would not recommend in a single tank, use uh, ceramic rings. Like I have kept in my uh, Kamfas tank, I have kept ceramic rings because before uh, I had a camel along with this fish. So uh, since the, I had only one sponge filter, I decided to add bio media rings because. that will hold beneficial bacteria in them and that would support the system so i added that you can also add that if you have a single fish the more bacteria the better it is so not a big deal now let's come to tank size uh, so what i would say is the minimum tank size for a fish would be around 2.5 uh, feet in length and height would be around 18 inches with around 14 to 15 inches this would absolutely do fine so when you are deciding to make a tank or get a tank make sure that the tank's height and the length is more width doesn't matter for flower horns so height does matter and the length of the tank matters but uh, uh the best size what i would say for a fish would be around 3 feet so 3 feet uh, in length 15 inches in width and height would be around 18 inches this would be a perfectly fine uh tank setup which would run you for a long period of time but if you are planning to get a small fish and you add this fish in a 3 feet tank the fish is going to be lost so what you can do over here is add a partition and uh, keep the fish in a smaller space and as the fish keeps on growing you can remove the partition so that he will have the entire 3 feet for himself light timing also plays an important role in grooming a fish so basically what i do is i turn on my lights at 5 pm and turn it off at 12 am or sometimes even 1 am so the reason why i do 5 to 7 hours of uh, light in my aquarium is because i have a window uh, vertically opposite to my tank so in the morning the tank is bright enough so that i don't have to 
turn on the aquarium lights so you have to figure out what works best for your fish and then uh, play around with the light timing at night time make sure that the tank is completely dark so that you don't see the fish inside the tank so the water should be dark enough that the fish shouldn't be visible inside the aquarium even if there is a little amount of light it is fine if there is a little amount of light but the fish shouldn't be visible in the tank so now let's come to your fish's diet so try feeding your fish at least 2 to 3 times a day two times minimum so what i generally do is i feed my fishes in the morning and then sometimes in the afternoon i feed them sometimes i don't but at night i feed them so twice a day minimum i feed them and sometimes thrice feeding pellets is generally what i prefer so for uh, I'll, i'll just run it down the different brands that i like i have tried and which i like so basically for head growth and overall body growth i prefer using humpy head as a staple diet because that has enough amount of protein that will grow your fish's head and it will grow the fish's body along with it so it is nice so you can also try pro head fg1 pro head but i find the results of uh humpy head were way better than the results of fg1 pro head and for coloration i the best food that i like is the cc red blaze it's a bit expensive on the expensive side and it is not easily available in the market but i like to use cc red blaze and even the pro red sin the fh uh, g1 pro red sin also does a good job but i still prefer using a red blaze for coloration and for pearls what i do is i buy the capsules from amazon the spirulina capsules from amazon and i uh, it's basically in powder form so there's a capsule i just open the capsule it's in powder form i mix a little bit of water in then i add few pellets i soak the pellets in the mixture and i let them dry in the sun uh for some time so and then i feed it to the fish so i generally do this once or twice a week to increase the shine of the pearls so right now i'm planning to use ionic fish food uh to enhance the coloration of my king calm f2 if i do use that i'll uh, make a video out of that and share my uh, opinions about that food as well you can feed frozen blood worms as well as long as it is frozen it's not a problem so uh, even i have uh, fed a frozen blood worms to my king kampa when he was small i think it was around 1.75 to 2 inches when i got him so i used to feed him frozen blood worms at the first uh, and then after he picked up a little bit of size i started shifting him slowly to the pellet so as long as you feed frozen it is fine so i would recommend you guys to dedicate a single aquarium to your fish so that the fish grows at a better rate and this fish doesn't have to assert dominance over the other fish in the tank but if you already have put a partition and kept two fishes uh, in the same tank what you can do is you can use a masking tape and mask off the partition glass so that the fish doesn't uh, look at the other fish and i cannot stress how important it is to perform regular water changes so please perform regular water changes on your aquarium and add natural rock salt after your water change it is said that rock salt relieves stress and is a natural healer some people also perform salt baths so what they do is they take a little bit of tank water in a small bucket and add salt to it and mix the salt well in the water and uh put the fish inside the bucket in the salt water solution for around what 10 to 15 minutes and then put them back in the tank so some people do this i personally don't do this and deworm your fish once every 2 months if you're feeding on pellets and deworm them uh at least once a month if you're feeding live not live frozen i wouldn't recommend you guys feeding live uh food to your fish is frozen uh, yeah would do but if you're feeding frozen foods such as uh, artemia and bloodworm deworm them once a month and deworming uh, with uh worm out is what i would recommend don't use the metrogel tablet and all you get the deworm uh, worm out medicine deworming medicine so deworm them once every 2 months if you're feeding pellets and uh, use a grooming mirror in your aquarium so what you can do is take a mirror and uh, add it in your aquarium for at least 10 to 15 minutes a day and what happens is the fish thinks that there's another fish in its territory and it starts flaring and dancing in front of the mirror which increases of certain hormones in the fish which helps in improving its head size the coloration uh, its body growth and all so that's it for today's video guys uh, make sure to leave a comment and like this video and please do subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in the next one bye